Look, these ants are cleaning a worker that has just come out of the cocoon. How cool is that? That's real teamwork. Hi guys. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Bruma Ants channel. In this video we're going to see how my Formica colony is doing, examining all the progress they made from the last update. If you are new to the channel, or you simply don't remember the last update, don't worry. Let's make a quick recap of the history of this colony. I caught the queen back in the summer of 2020, just right out of my back door. Hmm, I don't know why, but it doesn't sound right. However, she was hanging on one of the external walls of my house, peacefully enjoying the heat provided by the sun. I immediately put her inside a test tube setup, and kept her in the dark and safe spot for the next weeks. After just one or two days, she had already laid her first batch of eggs. As you can imagine, I was super excited. That was the first time I experienced the joy of welcoming the first members of her future ant colony. For the first year or so I kept them in that test tube, waiting patiently for the right moment to make them move to a proper formicarium. The moment arrived the year after that, and by the summer of 2021, they were already living inside their first formicarium. As you can see, for them I have chosen this starter nest made by Ant Store, a very popular company in the ant keeping space. I really love this nest, as it swiftly merges a sandwich nest with a fairly sized outworld. If you are interested, I made a dedicated review of this nest. If you want to check it out, the link will appear in the top right corner. So this is their history. Seeing a colony grows from just a single queen to a giant ant empire, gives the ant keeper an incomparable sense of satisfaction. Not so long ago, I decided to expand their setup, as their old nest was starting to become extremely crowded for them. I connected an extremely cool tube spiral and a white tong nest I made some time before to their setup providing the colony with a brand new home to inhabit. I can confidently say that they truly love their new setup. They run up and down the tube all day long, transporting the food from the ant store outworld to the Y Tong nest. As you can see, I replaced the DIY tube spiral with a more normal straight tube. I was forced to do that in order to clean all the mess and the trash they were accumulating inside the spiral. They got to the point where the trash pile in the tube was so dense, that was making it very hard for the ants to simply travel from one end to the other. Not at all a clever move. I'm planning to give them a second chance with the spiral, hoping that the next time they will be a little tidier. During the shooting of this video, I caught on camera some extremely interesting ant behaviors. The first one regard the process of creating a cocoon, starting from a naked larva. As you can see, these two workers are trying to cover some of the larvae with what seems to be some type of sand. Strange behavior, isn't it? As you probably already know, different species of ants may have slightly different life cycles. Let's start with the standard one. The normal ant life cycle consists of four main stages, the egg stage, the larva stage, the pupa stage, and the adult stage. However, not all species of ants are made equal. There's one phase of the ant life cycle that usually differs from species to species, and that's the pupa phase. A lot of species, probably the majority, pass this important phase inside a cocoon. The larvae of these species like to spin a cocoon, right before entering the pupa phase. I think they probably do that to protect themselves from any potential external threats, creating a sort of temporary shield in order to complete their development. Other species of ants, like for example Messer barbarus or Cremitogaster scutellaris, don't use this shielding system. Instead, they opt for a simpler strategy, the so-called naked pupa. The workers that you see in the shot are helping the larva spin her cocoon, giving her some additional anchor points. Another cool shot I got is this. As you can see, these ants are cleaning a worker that has just come out of the cocoon. How cool is that? That's real teamwork. If you look closely, you can notice that the exoskeleton of the young worker is of a very light color, and it seems almost transparent. That's because after being in contact with air for the first time, the exoskeleton takes some time to harden and darken. Very cool, don't you think? Now let's talk about the future. 
I have great plans for this colony. As you can see, they are currently taking all the available space on this shelf, and that's a real issue. With no more space left, the only solution that I currently can think of to give the colony more space, is to extend the setup to the shelf above. That would create a massive two-story setup, and would give the ants all the space they need. To make the ants climb all the way to the top shelf, I was thinking of using some type of tube spiral, very similar to the one that they already have to connect the two nests. With this system, they will easily be able to travel from one shelf to the other, gathering the food from one floor, and taking it all the way to the other. And you? What do you think? Do you have any suggestions or ideas on how I could expand the setup? Feel free to leave a comment. Luckily for me, I'm not in a rush to expand the setup, at least not for now. They still have a lot of free space inside the Wai Tong nest, and the sandwich nest is not completely filled up either. I hope the colony is going to slow down a bit their development, just in time to fill all the available space inside the nest right before hibernation. If that will turn out to be the case, I will have all the winter to build their new setup, maybe with a new Wai Tong nest and a long spiral staircase. If you like the idea of building your own custom ant nest, I would strongly suggest you check out this video. In this one, I explain in detail how to make a Wai Tong nest from scratch. See you soon in another video.